Welcome to Bowie News and Views. I'm John Rouse. It's good to see you again, although I really don't see you, but hopefully you see me. That's the important thing. <laughs> I'm here with uh, my co-host, Bert Oliver, the eminent Greece of Bowie, who will introduce our very distinguished guest. Mr. Oliver? Hey, I thought you were going to say my good-looking co-host. Well, I don't exaggerate. But I better introduce our guest. Yes. Joseph Minot, who is the Bowie Planning Director of the Bowie Planning and Economic Development Department, and he's going to discuss the census for Bowie with us today. And good to have you with us, Joe. Welcome. Thank you, Bert. Uh, I'd like to just uh, appreciate the opportunity to come and talk about the census. What we're doing right now is trying to promote as much as we can from the local government perspective, people's awareness in Bowie about the census. Mm -hmm. Our goal is to really try to get as many people to turn the census questionnaire back in to the when does, census When Bureau. does distribution of it start? That, that will come out uh, third week of March. Oh, okay. And the Census Bureau is really hoping that they will get a really positive response rate, uh, a high response rate, and we're hoping that 100% of the Bowie households will return the form. Dream on. What, what that does is it really does uh, save the Census Bureau quite a bit of money in terms of them not having to do the follow-up individually. Right. They will contact every address that does not return the form up to six times mm -hmm. trying to get the information and mm. the completed form in. But uh, the census is something that's really important to Bowie. It's, it's going to result in uh, allowing uh, the city to consider election district changes, mm -hmm. possibly in the upcoming elections. City election districts? City election districts. Um, the federal government does uh, look at recon or redistricting from the House of Representatives yeah, as, as yeah. a result of the census information. Um, we also use census data quite a bit when we're applying for federal grants, um, housing grants, mm -hmm. community development grants, and so it will really allow for the, both the city and the state of Maryland to receive its fair share of federal monies. Um, the federal government allocates about $435 billion to states and communities based on census data. That's more than $4 trillion over a 10-year period, Wow, is what they tell us. So it's really critical that the city uh, participate as actively the as The city gets can. direct federal money? We do through some of our uh, programs, the Community Development Block Grant Program and some of our uh, environmental programs as well. We have grant applications that we've received. So uh, what we try to do is, uh, what, we, what we're trying to do is help out uh, really the census has its own uh, outreach programs, but they're trying to push that down to the lowest level possible. They're trying to work with local governments, uh, homeowners associations, to get the word out to their mm -hmm. residents and memberships. Uh, what we did in terms of our own outreach program is that the city council uh, uh, allowed us to work with the county. Prince George's County has what's called the Complete Count Committee, mm -hmm. and there are various outreach activities that that group is doing. But on our own, we've decided to work through the city's community outreach committee to try to get the word out about yeah. the census. And we're approaching it on two levels. One, working with groups and organizations and businesses to try to work through their own uh, uh, means by church bulletins, uh, newsletters, email chains, mm -hmm. to try to increase awareness of the census to, to the city's residents. Uh, the other. Uh, activity that we're doing is just general outreach. So you're going to be seeing a lot of uh, city media being used, such as the cable TV channels, um, the website, mm -hmm. the uh, marquee signs that we have located throughout idea. the city. Yeah. Uh, just, just to try to remind people that when that census form comes, that they should fill it out as soon as possible and turn it back yeah. in. It is the shortest census form uh, ever used in American history. There are really basically only 10 questions oh, really? on this form. Oh. Uh, it's what they call the short form. Mm -hmm. The long form has been done away with um, in favor of what is now called the American Community Survey. And it's an important thing to understand because the American Community Survey is the equivalent of the long form of the census, but it's done on a continuing year-round basis. Uh, I have a question on that now, uh, and I, I know you get a lot to give us, you may answer this question, but this community committee you're referring to, is that the group that's been making some ca house calls already to go in and physically uh, meet with residents and complete forms? Well, that, <laughs> that we've had that happen at our house. 
There is the American Community Survey, and what that is is if it's the long form, the long census form. Mm -hmm. They randomly select um, residents throughout the country on mm -hmm. a regular, ongoing basis. They will mail the form to you. Yeah. They will uh, then that's follow the up. Form. They will, that's the long form. Mm -hmm. It has very detailed questions about um, housing characteristics, mm -hmm. income characteristics, um, education, uh, how you drive to work or walk to work, whatever, how you commute. Yeah, I've received one, the reason I understand it. But it, it, uh, it's a pretty lengthy form. And that, but not everyone's going to get that. That's that's, that's correct. It, yeah. it is something that is ongoing. Randomly uh, picked. And, and it's been in place for a couple of years now. In fact, uh, the way they publish the data, and it is on the city's website if you'd like to look at the yeah. reports, there have been two reports published for Bowie over the past two years. And what they do is they average three years' worth of data. So mm -hmm. through, the, through the random samples that come back, they take all of the information for Bowie, they average it for three year periods. So we have the 2005 to 2007 results on our website, and then they have a 2006 to 2008 data set. And what that's going to do is it's gonna allow us every year to have a report that's based on three year averages, statistically significant sampling. Are those the happen then of the population of Bowie, what percentage do you think they do get a return? Now this individual, there's been two people, one did a preliminary contact at the door, only house on that street, and then a person followed up with county identification and came in and actually interviewed. Is that the same thing? I think that's how it was done. If, if they'll, they'll first mail the form out, and we're talking about the American Community well, we didn't Survey. Get the mail. And here in Bowie. For some reason it didn't come by mail, they attempt to contact you by yeah. telephone. If that doesn't work, then they will send someone to your residence, and, and that's, that's a, a random thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do they? What percentage of the households? How many did you think they hit? Well, it's uh, what they say is it's one. You have a chance one in four hundred and eighty chance okay. of being selected. All right. So it's it's a fairly low uh, chances of that happening. But it's important for people to know that there sure. that this will be going on at the same time as the 2010 census. Yeah. So there's the short form that everyone will get, and then some people may be getting Interview. the long form. Well, that's the biggest question I had is, that's been done, then the short form would not be duplicated, it would literally be the same as the information they got before. In other words, they won't take you off the mailing list because they had an interview. <clears throat> right, the, answer, okay. the answers are fairly uh, similar but you do have to fill out both. In other words, if, you, if you're contacted to do the American Community Survey, you also have to do the, the Census 2010. That's an important point I wanted you to make. Mm -hmm. It has to be both, <laughs> if you happen to be the one selected. So we've, uh, we had an event back um, on February 20th at, up here at City Hall where we invited what we call the Bowie's Movers and Shakers. Oh, that would be us. All of the uh, <laughs> I wasn't invited. I wasn't invited either. Presidents of homeowners <laughs> associations, <No>. school principals, <laughs> um, church representatives, uh, clubs and organizations mm -hmm. in Bowie. We had a mailing list of over 250 people that we invited. Uh, we heard from the regional manager of the Philadelphia region from the Census Bureau, Mr. Fernando Armstrong, who came here. And it was a nice program. The Samuel Ogle course uh, performed at the event, mm -hmm. and uh, Councilman Dennis Brady also spoke, in addition to myself. And what we're, tr we're trying to do by that event was bring those organizations together, give them the message mm -hmm. about the census, and have them take the message back to their groups uh, in advance, because you know we were trying to well, prepare that's people. That's an idea. On Saturday a few weeks ago, yes, we were invited at <laughs> to the chamber. <laughs> Yeah, we actually, had, we actually had to uh, postpone it twice because of the snow, right. so. Well, how many people, pretty good crowd? We did have a good crowd. I mean, it was the, mm -hmm. the room was full of uh, people and we probably had about, say, 20 to 30 mm -hmm. organizations represented that came and took back the information. We had a lot of giveaways and posters and things like that. And that's another thing that I'd like to mention is that mm -hmm. in the upcoming weeks, uh, we would like to try to reach out to any businesses or organizations that are interested